Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins Pipeline. In this session, we are going to learn how to set up delivery pipeline in Jenkins. And as always, we are going to go very basic step by step. So let's get started and we will directly jump in the demo and we have to chain the required job in sequence. And that means that for every job, we have to add a dependent upstream or a downstream job. So let us go to our Jenkins and before that, let us create some sample jobs. So I will create a sample build job. I will create a freestyle job, say OK. And here I will just add a some build step, execute command and I will say echo and apply and save. So this is a sample build job. Let us go back and create a new sample deploy job. So I will say this is sample deploy job. Again a freestyle job. Say OK. And here again I will just add some sample commands. Apply and save. And let us go back and again add a sample test job so i will say this is a sample test job again a freestyle job okay and again create a sample command apply and save let us go back to our jenkins dashboard and let us see that we have these three jobs created and I have created these sample jobs just for this demo purpose. So let us go and try running these jobs. I am opening these jobs into new window and I will just run this job. So this is running fine. Let me run the sample deploy job as well. This is running fine and also let us run our sample test job and this is also running fine so now all our jobs are running successfully now we have to chain our jobs so i am going to my first job which is sample deploy job and i will go to configure and here either i can add a upstream job or a downstream job you can go down and you can go to post build actions and you can select this build other projects after this project or we can also go to the build triggers and we can select here build after other projects are built so of course the build triggers will not be applicable for the first job we can add it to the second job which is our sample deploy job so i'm again going to the configure of sample deploy job and here we will add build triggers and we will say build after other projects are built and here we will say this is sample build job so this project has to build after sample build job is done and trigger only if the build is stable and apply and save and for the third job which is sample test job we will go to configure and we will go to the build triggers and here we will say build after sample deploy job is completed and trigger only if the build is stable apply and save so now these three jobs are chained and whenever we will run the first job which is our sample build jobs the other job should get executed so you can see the first job has two runs but the second job has single run and the third job also has single run if i run the first job again let me run this now so it has three runs and you will see this will get triggered so you can see this is getting triggered and once this is completed our third job which is sample test job will get triggered so you can see this is now getting triggered so now our jobs are chained so we have to go to step number two, which is install delivery pipeline plugin. So let us go to our browser and say delivery pipeline plugin. 
and you will get this option for delivery pipeline Jenkins wiki let us go here and now we have two ways of installing the plugin we can either take this latest file plugin file and then add to our Jenkins or we can directly add the plugin from Jenkins we will select the second option of adding the plugin directly from Jenkins but let us go down and let us read the summary and this says visualization of delivery build pipelines renders pipeline based on upstream downstream jobs and this is the kind of view we will get so let us go back to our Jenkins and go to manage Jenkins and here let us go to manage plugins and here you have to go to your available section here I am going to my install because I have already installed it so when you will go to your available section and here you can start typing delivery pipeline and you will get this option for delivery pipeline plugin and you will get the option to install download and install so download and install the plugin and once this is done let us go to step number three which is we have to add delivery pipeline view in our Jenkins so now well, let us go back to the Jenkins dashboard and I will click this plus icon here and we can create a view here and here we can select the type of view so of course we want to select delivery pipeline view and let us say this is test delivery pipeline and say ok now here we will for now keep all the values as default but let us go down to the pipeline section and add a component and here we have to give the initial job name so here we will say our initial job is sample build job and we will apply and save okay now you can see already it is giving us all the past runs and it is showing us in this view so here you can see we have we will be getting this view so it will show us a visualization of our chain jobs when they were triggered what was the result and you can see the, these green and gray lines so you can see in the first two instances we had not chained our jobs so the first job ran but the other two did not but in the last instance we have created the chained jobs and ran our chained jobs and so it is showing us like this okay now let us go to this full screen view and it will show us a different view of the same pipeline now let us go back and now I am going to the edit view and here there are some options that will be very useful the first one is number of pipeline instances so you can select any number here and what it will do is here we are only able to view just the result of three runs so in case you want to see more than three runs on a single screen you can select this option from here and then let us go down and here we have an option to enable start new pipeline build so what this option will do is you will be able to run a new pipeline from the delivery pipeline view itself so let us select it apply and ok and now you will get this button here and you can trigger a new pipeline right from here so I will click here and you can see number 4 pipeline is started and it is running the first job and the second job is in progress right now it is completed the third job is in progress right now and this is also done so this is what you can configure let us go back to our edit view and here the next option is enable manual triggers so what this will do is in case in your entire workflow or your pipeline if you have any job which has to be manually executed you can select this option and then it will give you an option to manually run that particular step from the pipeline view so as of now we do not have any manual job so let us keep it as it is you can also enable rebuild so let us apply and say ok and now you should be getting this option here 
to rebuild so this will be very helpful when you have to run some particular job again in the same pipeline and you do not want to trigger a new pipeline so this will be very handy again let us go to edit view and then you can show the commit messages if you are taking it from the from some version control system you can show the job descriptions and what we are more interested in is show total build time so this will show the total build time for our jobs and we can also select the theme so let us say I want a contrast theme say apply and ok and now you can see it is showing the complete green and red and also showing the total build time as well ok again we can go to view full screen and it will show us the full screen view of our jobs ok so step 4 is run and validate that we have already done and let us look at some useful tips so as we have seen delivery pipeline view has many options and you can configure these options as per your need we have already seen some of these options and you can explore the other options i hope this session was very useful for you in case you have any doubts or suggestions please do add them in the comment section below i will meet you in the next session thanks for watching